MuseScore 4 is an amazing tool for anyone who wants to be a composer or anyone who's looking for a better sheet music software. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts to help improve your workflow in MuseScore. I have MuseScore 4 open, so let's dive right into the keyboard shortcuts. Right now, I have it on a setting where I just have the violin sound, the violin MIDI sound. And if you're interested in learning more about Muse sounds, I have other videos talking about Muse sounds. I'm going to be leaving those links in the description below. So if I'm writing for strings, for instance, I want to have all sorts of different articulations and bowings. So just for just for uh, simplicity's sake, I'm just going to write just going to write some simple quarter note uh, passages over here. I'm going to click on the beginning note on the A and my favorite shortcut for doing slurs that's really easy is just pressing the S button and you could see already that I have the slur already marked in. By tapping S on your keyboard, that's only going to activate one slur to one note. But if you want to do multiple notes, all you have to do is click on this. You could even do shift and maybe go to the to the C or the D multiple notes, however many you want. And then you can click on the S. And as you see, the upper slur is hovering over all four notes. Now, I don't want to keep two notes in the slur. So what I want to do, I can just click on this and I can just delete that slur. But if I decide for whatever reason, I want to keep that two note slur, there's a really convenient shortcut to undo your progress. And that is command Z on Mac. So you do command Z and lo and behold, you have that slur one more time. And then you can command Z, you can undo that as many times as you please as you want or as you need. So I'm going to do command Z and it already erases all of those slurs really easy to do. This next keyboard shortcut is more so for engraving purposes. If you are wanting to maybe polish the, the visual aspect of the score and the stems are not to your liking or you're a composer and you want the stems to face up or down a specific way. Well, all you got to do is click on one of these notes and you got to tap X and automatically it's going to shift the stem from up to down or from down to up. You can change these as much as you like you know, whatever the case may be. And of course, command Z if I want to undo all that progress. But if you are really picky about the, the stems going up or down, that's a really easy, cool keyboard shortcut. Right now we're in the key of C major. What if I want to do something more? What if I wanted to add an accidental, for instance? I could tap on a note, I can select a note, and I'm gonna click on or press on J and J what it does is adds uh, all sorts of different uh, accidentals um, to, to your liking. If you, if you want to do that, for instance, like if I go for B to B sharp, or if you're, you know, if you don't want that shortcut, all you can do is just go on the arrow upwards for a specific accidental, or you can go down, but either way you can do all sorts of different things. You might've noticed that double sharp there, whatever the case may be, you can do that as well. What if I don't want a specific note in MuseScore? What if I don't want a specific note in my composition? Well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna press Command X to completely delete that note so that way my workflow is really, is moving forward. And again, if I want that note back, Command Z, but if I don't want that note, I wanna click Command X on my keyboard. Another keyboard shortcut is if you are going to be repeating the melody of your piece multiple times, I can click on a select measure and I can shift and right arrow all the way to highlight all of those measures. Or what you can do is you can tap on the measure and let's say I wanna highlight these three measures, I'm going to shift and click just to get, and just to get those measures highlighted. Now, if I want to get multiple, like more than more than three or more than four measures highlighted, well, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to do 
command A. Command A is going to help me highlight all of the measures in the score. If I decide to delete it, which I just did, I just hit the delete button or command Z to get everything back in place. But what if I want to have some musical direction? What if I want to tell my instrumentalist who's playing my piece a specific musical uh, element that cannot be written? I'm going to click on command K, play with passion. I could also do that in MuseScore. There you have it. Those are some of my favorite keyboard shortcut tips. If you want to learn more about MuseScore and some of the fun tutorials that I have, click on some of these videos over here so that way you can take a look at. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.